If you're anything like me, you didn't know a whole lot about your baitcaster when you bought one, other than you're really good at getting backlashes. So I'm gonna share with you the difference between magnetic brakes, mag brakes, or centrifugal brakes, and where within your cast that would signal to you of why and how you should adjust them. First, let's talk about why a backlash happens to begin with. It's important to understand. So the second that you cast out your lure and it leaves your rod tip, it begins to slow down. It gets resistance from the wind and eventually stops when it hits the water. The problem is that you started your spool at that incredible rate of speed, and your spool is not slowing down at the same rate the speed that your lure is when it hits that wind and eventually hits the water and so it just continues to spin and your line has nowhere to go it starts, starts to fluff up and if it's really bad creates that dreaded backlash bird's nest rat nest whatever it is that you like to call it all right so i'm going to show you the two different types of braking systems out there this is a shimano slx and so when you open up the side plate on this you will notice these guys this is a centrifugal braking system and as you can see here um, none of them are actually in position meaning if i were to click these out like that, what happens is that your spool acts as a centrifuge. When it spins, whenever you do that first cast, it starts spinning really, really fast, and these little plastic nodules are going to spin on the inside of the plate inside of here, causing friction, slowing down your spool, which, of course, by default, is gonna help your line stay on, not fluff up, and get that backlash. Of course, the more brake pads you have that are in the activated position means it's gonna provide more friction and slow down your spool faster. And the second system that we have are mag brakes or magnetic brakes. And I actually like these better than the centrifugal brakes uh, for a variety of reasons. One, you can quickly adjust them by not having to open up the side plate, which is really nice. And I believe that mag brakes do a better job of allowing you to fine tune what you want that spool speed to look like. So how it slows down your spool is not so much by friction, but by the opposing magnetic forces. So the closer the magnets are to your spool, it's going to slow it down. And the further those magnets are away from your spool, it's going to allow it to spin more free. As you can see here, as I turn it to the left and turn it to the right, it moves closer or further away from your spool. Now, sometimes these will have numbers on them and usually from one to 10, I've seen them from one to 20. I've even seen them from one to 40. Once again, like I said, you can really fine tune. And the thing about the centrifugal brakes is that I only have six options. I either put six brake pads down or all the way down to one. But with my bag brakes, I have 10 options or I have 20 or 40, depending on the type of bait caster that you buy. So if you know anything about bait casters, you know there's actually two braking systems. You have your mag brakes, centrifugal brakes, but also on the other side right here, your spool tension or not. So the question is, why do you need two? Well, let me explain it to you. So what I want you to do is divide your cast up between zero and 100. Now, if you, whenever you cast out your lure, start to feel um, when you're feathering your spool, if you start to feel that line want to start to fluff up or begin to start developing that backlash within the first 60% of your cast, that is when you want to adjust your magnetic brakes or your centrifugal brakes. However, if you notice that your line starts to fluff up toward the last 30% of your cast, that's when you would want to adjust your spool tensioner knob. Now keep in mind that these brakes, the spool tensioner knobs, your mag brakes, your centrifugal brakes, kind of act as safety nets when you're first getting started and learning the bait caster. However, over time, what a lot of anglers do is they slowly start to ratchet back that safety net and start to educate or train their thumb to do what your brakes were doing for you when you were first learning your bait caster. I know that myself, I barely use any of the spool tensioner knob or the mag brakes or centrifugal brakes because I've educated my thumb over the years. Now, if you're curious, I want to take a little deeper dive into that spool tensioner knob that I spoke about. I got that video for you right there. Oh.